today and be something wonderful. How love collapses time and space. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Really powerful sessions yesterday, and I want to share a few stories from these sessions. And remember, when I share these client stories, guys, I change the, 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 many of the 3D facts that are not important to the metaphysical message or the metaphysical miracle that happened. Or I get permit, or this, I have permission from the client to share the details. They want to share the details of the story. So just know that I, I've, uh, I never just share um, personal details of, of clients, but give you more of the metaphysical miracle that took place and some of the general ideas around that. So I want to share three things that happened yesterday, all very powerful, and all had to do with, with the idea that love collapses time and space. When you go within and see that and feel that I am this and look at reality, look at 3D reality through the eyes of that, it collapses time and space, right? And it, it was one of my clients that, um, that was dating someone. And, and this client had, had, for a few years, didn't date anyone, was just working on their, their metaphysical journey. And, and, and they felt that they really had to do that. They went to a lot of seminars and, and read a lot of books and, and just felt like it's in a good place now to, to get back into dating. And they, and they did manifest someone or attracted someone in their life. But then, uh, for some reason, the person stopped calling or, or texting. And, and, and this person said, Tom, and, and it was a very emotional outpouring, and, and generally always is, and saying, you know, what is it? What did I do that, 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 that stopped them from being interested or stopped them from send, sending messages? And, and why, isn't it, why does it have to be? What's the secret? Why does it always have to be so difficult to maintain this? So that's one story. And, and as we were talking, I, I, I talked about this idea that she doesn't need to receive anything from the outside world, not from this person, not a text, not a phone call. That's not where the, your power is. It's within that love within. As we were talking, she was taking some deep breaths and, and then she goes, oh my God, I felt it. And, and we stopped and I go, and she goes, I felt that love. I, I get it. I mean, this was a tremendous collapse of time and space right on this coaching session, right? This was not a fluke. She felt it and didn't, and really by the end of the session, she didn't even care about it. She got it that it's not about them. It's not about that text message. She creates it all. And when she feels that in love within, she knows that she can create anything she wants. That was big. And then there was an, another session where, where um, this, it, this was more of a co-worker situation and um, uh, where, where she was working with someone that was very difficult. And, and, and in this case, she, she said, you know, I, I don't even look forward to meeting with this person. It just, you know, I, and I don't like the job now and I don't like meeting with her. And we just turned that all around. We basically, basically again, went in, went in and, and reached for that love. She, we, I wanted her to see through, through the eyes of love. When you see through the eyes of love, it changes everything. By the end of the session, she got it, right? When, when she was going to go back to work, she was going to see that no matter what that person's behavior was, and it will change. I haven't heard back on this one yet. But, but as she was in the session, she goes, you know, I can see this differently. I can choose this. She got it. She got that idea. That will change everything. And then the third one, and a very, another very powerful one, and this was pretty instant as well, is that, and, I, and yesterday was the session where we talked about it. It was the day before where, where we were making those changes. And this was also a work situation where where this person, she was dealing with a vendor that, that, that was, it was uncomfortable. The vendor, the vendor was always sort of um, transferring blame onto, their, onto her and, and, and the company. And she goes, I just don't, I, I, I just don't know why she, 
why she's doing that. And I said, well, remember, it's always coming from within you. Remember, you create it all. And when you change it within, when you see something different, it will change. So when you see her through, through that, that that's not happening, that will change. Well, instead, what did she do? She, come up, she came up with her own imaginal act of feeling that she was, she, in, in, she reached for the love, but she reached for that love of who she is, that she deserves love. And she, she imagined herself separating from that situation, from that situation that was unlike love, right? That unloving bender. As she did this, right? She imagined that. She, then she goes into work the next day. It turns out the vet, that same vendor called in a very polite way, right? It wasn't, the, it didn't sound, it wasn't the same sort of tone or anything and just said, hey, they, their, their boss said they're not going to be selling that, they're not going to be providing that product anymore. This was literally overnight. And so she saw herself separated from it to such an extent that she's not even going to be working with that vendor anymore, but not in a bad way. They're simply not offering that product. It ended very well. Guys, this is what we're talking about today. I want to talk about that the idea that love, so powerful, collapses time and space. So let's do it. And, and so what did each of these clients do? Behind it all, what did they do? They moved to a new reality, to a new version of themselves. They fell in love with that new reality. What do I mean by that? They saw the love behind everything. That's the key. If you want an immediate shift in your life, if you want to see things differently, fall in love with love. That new reality within, right? That new version of yourself. That version that sees only through love, only sees things that they want, only sees their wish fulfilled. Fall in love with that, and that collapses time and space immediately, right? Love collapses time and space. Love bends reality. Love is all that is. That's all there is, is love, right? What you think, what you feel, what you believe and assume within or in consciousness, you project, you see and perceive on the screen of time and space. There's no exceptions. Each one of them as we started this session, was seeing things differently, right? Not seeing that it was coming from within them. They knew it. Some of them have been at studying Neville and other spiritual teachers for quite a while, so they, got the, they knew that. But as we talked about it, they could see it. They, they, it. It's what A Course in Miracles says. I could see peace instead of this. I could see love instead of this. This is what the choice that they came to. Powerful creators. I can see peace. I can see love. I can see what I want instead of this. It's when you're staring at an unwanted reality, you can't fall in love with your new reality. You can't fall in love with that new version of yourself when you're focused on what you don't want. When you're annoyed or frustrated or fascinated in a, in a negative way with what's happening in 3D reality. So powerful. Let's see if we can uh, unpack this a little bit more. So I just want to say that, and in, in especially in one of my sessions yesterday, they felt that they still had a, more of a journey to do, that they had to fix certain things in their life, that they had to get this person that's in their life to act differently, they had, that they needed to fix them, that they needed to fix the, the 3D world. And I just want to say, I've said this before, but never like we're going to talk about it today. Stop trying to fix current 3D reality. It's not broken. It's a perceptional issue. You're seeing less than 1% of all that is and you're calling it broken or unwanted or needs to be fixed or improved, right? Stop trying to fix yourself. You're not broken. <laughs> you're only seeing a small perception of who you really are. And stop trying to fix others. They're not broken. <laughs> Right? If you believe there's something to fix, something to improve, something to heal, we've talked about healing in other videos, that's all you'll perceive. You'll only perceive that. If you want to, if you want to just say, well, th this is real though, but you know, I, okay, focusing on one's lo love is on one thing. What, what about when I'm in pain? What about when reality is showing me something that I just can't turn away from? That's your choice. 
That's your perception. That's because you're focused on it, right? If you believe there's something to fix, improve, and heal, that's all you'll perceive. That's all you'll see. But like I said yesterday from A Course in Miracles, when you want only love, you'll see nothing else. When you see only love, you'll see nothing else. That was the case with these three sessions yesterday, right? Teach only love for that is what you are. That's what um, A Course in Miracles says. Teach only love for that, is what, that, for that is what you are. In other words, when you teach by example, you're teaching by love, right? All the great teachers say, well, teach by the power of your example. What's the power of your example? Love. Compassion for the reality that's there, right? Compassion doesn't mean to... to to get down in the weeds with that 3D reality that's unwanted. It means to accept it as one quantum possibility. Have compassion for that creation and then choose again. Put your attention on what you do want, right? So the only thing that needs healing or fixing is your incomplete seeing or your incomplete perception. Do you get this, guys? That's the only thing that needs healing if you want to heal something or you want to improve something or fix it. It's your perception. And how do you fix it? By, by feeling that love within, by seeing things through that love. Wow, so powerful. Like scripture says, before Abraham was, comma, I am. It's before time, it's before everything was that I am. Love was before everything. You've got to know that the 3D world, it's all made up, right? Before that, behind it, the real thing is I am. Before and beyond time and space, there's just pure love. That's divine I am this. That's why love collapses time and space. That's why in case after case, session after session, love will com- collapse time and space every time, right? Every time, no exception. There's no pain. There's no betrayal. There's no wrongs to be righted, right? A lot of you were asking me about forgiveness. And what if someone really betrayed you, really did something wrong? Well, that's what Jesus never saw betrayal, right? Even with Judas, he never looked at that because that wasn't his reality. He didn't notice it. He didn't see it. It wasn't in his reality. There's no pain, no betrayal, no wrongs to be righted. There's just that love. And when you start seeing through that love, you're not seeing that betrayal anymore. You're not seeing that pain anymore. You're seeing love, right? Your I amness was never hurt, never betrayed, never harmed, never touched. So no matter what you're going through, and I, and I hear it, a lot of, and you give me all, you give me, you're defending and you're arguing for your limitations. You give me all these examples, but what about this? And the more you argue for your limitations, you are going to have them. <laughs> you get to keep your limitations, right? This is what the, the book Illusions talked about. All the spiritual greats talked about that. You get to keep them, right? So, your, your I amness, who you really are, has never been harmed. Is ne- is all, that knowing is what's true. That's true forgiveness. That's what it's all about. That's your purified perception. As long as you're in 3D, you're going to be perceiving something. Why not perceive it as close you can to the ultimate reality through love, right? Your I amness was never hurt. It was never betrayed, never harmed, never touched. Very powerful. Your higher self, that God created, is was and will always be perfect. It's about perceiving more of who you, who you really are, right? When you are trying to change, improve, fix, or heal, the 3D you, the world, you're trying to make changes where change is impossible. Hear this. When you're trying to fix the 3D world, you're trying to make a change where change is impossible. This is so big. The 3D world, you, others in the world that you believe is out there. If you believe something separate from you, and outside of you, you're, and you're trying to change it, you're trying to do the impossible. Do you hear this? You're trying to change something that you believe is separate from you, and it's not. You can't fix it. You can't heal it. You can't change it. It's not there. It's not. It's within you. You're trying to make changes where change is impossible. Nothing's outside of you. There is no time. When you dwell on the past memories, that's where you exist in consciousness. Hear this. When you dwell on the past memories, past wrongs, past situations, things that you don't want, and and I'm talking, when I say past, I'm talking right now. 
Anything that you're focused on, even if it feels like it's in the present, it's in the past. Everything's been written. Creation's finished. Every, scripts, all scripts have been written. You're always looking at the past. Those memories, there's no time. So when you dwell on those, that's where you exist in consciousness. That's where you dwell. That's where you exist in consciousness. Whatever you remember, that's where you exist in consciousness. When? Right now. But, but I'm talking about that now moment that never changes, right? So let's hit this a little bit more, right? Remember, trying to improve anything in 3D keeps you stuck in the past, the perceived problem. Before time was, I am. Before Abraham was, I am. That's what scripture was talking about. The past, present, and future is all now. Right before Abraham was, before time was, was just God, now, eternity. Do you see this, guys? All of this, all these, all these scripts have already been written. You're just, you are just remembering them. You're just recreating them. Creation's finished. All scripts are written. The, when you're looking at the past, you're looking at the past past. You're looking at the past present. You're looking at the past future. All of that's already been created. The future what you call the future, imaginal acts or things that you want to create or do, that's already been created. All those scripts have been written. Those are all the past. They're all before Abraham, before time was, I am. That's the only thing that is true. All of that's been created. Do you see this, guys? Before history, before time and space, before the past, present, and future, before creation was just God. In the beginning, God, I am, right? That's the true power now, that I am this, where separation from God never happens. That's how you collapse time and space. The separation never happened. All of these scripts have already been written. All of that creation's done. When you're, when you're in the present, you're looking at the past present. It's a reality or a script that's already been written. And you're just perceiving it like it's the first time. Do you see the power in this? You can imagine or, or, or think about anything in reality. When you're imagining the future, you're looking at a past future. You're looking at a script, a future in a script that's already been written. Creation's finished, this is powerful. So, the 3D world is in your mind. There are potentials, everything that you're living or will live or have ever lived, are potentials played out and projected on the screen of time and space. Before Abraham was, I am. Before time was, I am. Before time and space, before past, present, and future. Before all of that is just love. That's why love, that I am, that God within you, that's why it collapses time and space, right? All possible outcomes have already happened. Whether thinking about them or imagining the past, present, and future, you're imagining or viewing a scene from the past. You're always imagining or thinking of a scene from the past. And you can imagine anything, right? At this very moment, you are watching the past now moment, right? You think you're in the now, but it's the past now. It's a script that's been written. It's a lifeline that's been lived. And now you're seeing it or perceiving it like it's the first time, right? You're playing out a potential that's already been, that already exists. Wow. When you imagine your wish fulfilled, you are viewing a future past script. Do you hear this? It feels like the future to you because it's like the first time, but it's a script, another script that has that future that already exists, right? Before and beyond all of that, time and space is love. I am your higher self. Beyond all of that, before all of it is just love that I am, God, first, first cause, source. And that's why when you see things you got through love, at whatever level, you are now seeing more of ultimate reality. You're now collapsing time and space. Wow. So when you perform a miracle, I, arrange, I will arrange both time and space to adjust to it. This is from A Course in Miracles. This is what Jesus said in A Course in Miracles. When you perform a miracle, I will arrange both time and space to adjust to it. 
seeing love behind it all, seeing that, 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 that before Abraham, before time and space was just love and that the 3D world is just a world of potential realities playing out, that you get to perceive whatever you want and that you can perceive it through love is the miracle. Right? And that's why Jesus said, when you perform a miracle, in other words, when you see everything through that eyes of love, through that higher self, I will rearrange both time and space to adjust to it. In other words, I will collapse time and space to adjust to it. That's what happened with my clients. That's what's happened to you all the time. Whenever you decide to see it through love, whenever you make the choice to see that through love, to see whatever you're looking at through love, it widens your perception of all that is. You see more of that I amness. You collapse time and space, right? Wow. You rearrange it and see what's really behind it all, right? Try this. I've talked about this sort of exercise before, I think in a, six months ago, maybe a year ago or more. Fall in love with life. Fall in love with your new reality. Fall in love with the new version of yourself. Fall in love with love. Right? Remember, how do you create a new reality? You have an intention. You put your attention on that and then you believe it in. That's a new reality. Set your attention to see things through love. Right? Put your attention, through, as you're seeing through, through love, put your attention on, the, on things that, how you want things to be, how you, want, how you would like things to be, your wish fulfilled, and then believe it. Because remember, it's, there is no truth outside what you believe. That becomes your new reality. Intend love. Put your attention on love. Believe in love. Belief plus love is an immediate shift in your reality. That's how you collapse time and space, right? Identify, identify three core beliefs based in love, not fear. What do you love about it? What do you love about, about your wish fulfilled, your new reality, that new version of yourself? Three beliefs based in love, not fear, love. Why do you love it, right? Then close your eyes, relax into the alpha state. Breathe deeply, but normally a very relaxed state. Feeling those three beliefs you now have about that new reality, about your new self. Feel that love. Then receive an image, receive or conjure an image or a new scene. You can either create the scene, create the image, or receive the image. But make sure in any case that you are in the scene, that you enter the scene, that you are in the action, right? Walk in that new reality, those new beliefs based in love. It changes everything. That is how to, that's how love collapses time and space. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like, and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. You can follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. We also have a group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors on Facebook. That's be somethingwonderful.com slash groups slash be something wonderful. And you can also visit our, our uh, Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen and the website at tomkaren.com or be somethingwonderful.com. With great love, with great light, with infinite gratitude, creators, see you soon.